Hey guys, welcome to Creative Suite TV and boy have we got a fantastic episode for you today. We're going to be having a look at Illustrator CS4 and the brand new blob brush tools. So if you've got a pen and a tablet, then get ready for fun because it's Creative Suite TV's blob brush bonanza. Well everyone, welcome to my humble little desk where we're going to do a little bit of artwork today using the blob brush tool. I love this new tool because it is so simple and easy to use. So I have set up here my uh, Wacom pen and tablet. Of course you could use any press pressure sensitive uh, pen and tablet that you have at your disposal but these ones are pretty cool. It's also got an eraser on the other end which we'll have a look at that in just a moment as well. So we're going to start off by grabbing the blob brush tool. Here it is over here on the left hand side of screen and immediately you start to see how easy it is to draw with. So I can draw some little shapes there and when I select it you'll notice that as I'm drawing there it does a great job of just drawing some very simple vector shapes. I just press Control Y or Command Y uh, to show me the vector shapes and when I select it really nice smooth parts and as you use the blob brush tool you're simply adding to those paths. So already it's a very simple little tool to use. Uh, just grab the blob brush tool, adds little points to it. Great, we're off to a good start. But wait, there's more, there's always more. So if I go back into normal painting mode here and I would like to adjust some of the settings, some of the um, points and handles. If I double click on the tool there, you'll notice that there is a whole bunch of uh, different settings. You can see up here on the screen I've got, um, you know, like a, the size there. I can change the size of the brush, of course, uh, and different variations. I can have the size here uh, to be fixed or I can have it for pressure sensitivity. So that's according to the pen and tablet. There it is uh, right there. You can also have the tilt. We'll have a look at that. The tilt really comes into play when we adjust the roundness of the brush. So I can go ahead and squish that in a little bit, then I can adjust the roundness of the brush and start drawing with it. So let's have a quick look at that. I'll press OK, we'll select everything here and delete it, and then as I start drawing, you can see I can draw with very light hand for a thin brush, start pressing a bit harder, and then I can get a thicker brush. Now, the tilt actually happens like this. As I tilt my pen and tablet and I'm just tilting it backwards and forwards you can see I can get a really kind of random line and I'm just sort of tilting the brush backwards and forwards as I as I go across like that so that's a really handy way of getting into it okay so painting coloring in whatever it looks really great so when you have your brush set up like that you can really start to draw some cool lines so if I um, want to do like a graffiti style line I could sort of do you know, uh, something like that. I don't know. That, that didn't work out really well. Let me let me try again. Well, maybe uh, not today, but maybe next time. If I keep practicing this, and that's the beauty of it, you can keep practicing, and you can even do some nice sort of calligraphy style lines. But bit more, one more little thing, and that is there's some additives to the blob brush tool. So if you come and get your graphic styles panel, I'll bring it out onto screen. Right down the bottom here, we can choose this pop down menu and come down, you just have a look, additive for blob brush. That's right, additive for blob brush. So if I click on that, a whole panel of additives for the blob brush, blob brush come up. And some of them are just like using an airbrush. An airbrush inside of Illustrator. Let's have a go at that. So I choose the very first one here and as I paint with it you might think wow nothing's really changed but then all of a sudden it smooths out like that and you can still see the vectors in there but it is a nice smooth airbrushing tool. So you can kind of airbrush over the top and add to it and it's really a lot of fun. So with a little bit of practice uh, and just a regular sort of uh, blob brush, we can go ahead and let me just go ahead and revert back to default. I'll double click the 
blob brush tool we'll go back pressure sensitive tool here we go oh one last little tip if you want to change the size of your brush use the square bracket keys on your keyboard you know what i'm talking about these little guys over here if you hit that one and that one that one and that one yep then you can make your brush size bigger and smaller uh, just like you can in photoshop so do that do that get a nice bigger or smaller brush and then you can start drawing so if i can if i can draw a little guy like this really quickly then i'm sure that you everyone at home will be able to draw you know uh, something really really cool as well so that's illustrator it's the blob brush tool thanks for tuning in again welcome to my desk i don't think you've ever seen my desk before creative suite tv watchers but it's a palatial setup obviously it's the wonderful albert park lake out in the background there it's where i go for a run before work every morning just to keep myself in shape for the blob brush tool love it thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again real soon i hope you like the uh the new format i think i'll stick with it until i hit the road again we'll speak to you soon mike <laughs>